Hello and welcome back to another video today. I always say this when I do a vlog, but today is really a very exciting day because I am getting three tattoos today. So I figured I have never done a vlog of me getting tattooed in the past, so what a good idea. Um, I just had a shower and as you can see, I am doing my skincare which is basically just like putting sunscreen on. Usually I would put on body lotion after my shower as well, but since I'm getting tattooed today, I will not be doing that. Um, I made sure to get a good sleep last night. I have been drinking a lot of water because they're all very important things when you're getting tattooed. And yeah, oh, okay. That didn't need to hit me in the face, but okay. Uh, yeah, come along with me for this journey of getting tattoos. I am super excited. My room was such a mess. It was awful. So I decided to give that a bit of a clean before my appointment. I wanted to waste some time and calm my nerves before my appointment. So I decided to take some time and paint my nails. This is where my favorite gel polishes come in. I had never really used gel polishes before Madame Glam emailed me and sent me some of their products. They just rolled out their mini polishes in tons of cute colors. I'm using their September collection, but there are literally thousands of different colors to pick from on their site. And you can find everything you need to get the perfect manicure at home. Right now they're actually doing a campaign for October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a portion of profits from any of their Think Pink collection will be donated to breast cancer research, which is really, really great to hear. Overall, they're a great company with tons and tons of variety and really reasonable prices, so I recommend you check out their website. If you're interested in buying any of their products, I actually have a discount code for 30% off, which is in the description, as well as a link to their site. Let me know if you end up checking out their products. My ring light broke, which is super cool and fun, so you're gonna have to deal with really crappy and weird lighting in my videos until I get a new one. Um, it's been- it's been coming for a while. Uh, it's always not been like the best ring light, but I didn't expect it to happen so soon. It will be missed dearly. Not really. It was- kind of always really garbage. Also, peep the earring set up. I was finally, you can't really see it at all. I was finally able to change my top earring because it's my newest one. Um, so yeah, I wanna get, I wanna, I, I don't know if I have enough room for another lobe piercing. I think I do to get a fourth one, um, but I really want that. This is the fit, literally just yoga pants and then like a tank top because I can take this sweater off. And then the sweater, I just want to be comfy. Leave me alone more on a string. Um, I'm not going to do any makeup today because I don't feel like it. Uh, I just want to be nice and comfy for my appointment. I had some delicious spaghetti before my appointment. I always make it a habit to have a meal and then drink a lot of water before my appointments. Of course, not so much that I'm like needing to pee a lot, but like it's really good to be super hydrated and very full for your appointment. Um, it just helps the tattooing process go a lot smoother in my experience. I also charged my AirPods so that I could listen to music or I could watch something on Netflix if I wanted to, but I ended up just talking with my artist the whole time. I also had this super, super yummy dairy-free popsicle. It was so, so good. I just want to make sure I had adequate sugar in my system before my tattoo. And then before long, I was ready, super excited. I don't really tend to get nervous for tattoos anymore. More so excited. I was a tad bit nervous because this is my first like forearm tattoo. I've never got one on my forearm before. So I was a little bit nervous for the pain. This clip of me in the car is unfortunately the last clip I remembered to film before I got my tattoos. I was actually so engrossed in talking to my artist that it slipped my mind to film the process at all. And I am so, so sorry, but I will still show you the results because that is what you are here for. Okay, so this is right after my artist finished this big boy on my forearm. I love it so, so much. This was me taking a bathroom break, and here he was. Look at him. And then my little bunnies. This is after they were wrapped up. Um, and then I got my 13 after these two. The stencils just kind of like chill in there. I really had to pee. 
This is just after I got home. Obviously, they were pretty red. Um, everything was all done. The 13, the bunnies, and my cute cat skull. So, so happy with everything. I was absolutely exhausted after my appointment. So I went down for a big nap. And then I just kind of let the wrap sit on for a few days. That's what I usually do. I just leave my Saniderm on for a few days. And then it came the most painful part, which was taking them off. Okay, so I was talking in this clip, but I really couldn't get anywhere with what I was saying because I kept stopping to be like, ow, shit, and like gasping in pain. So I decided maybe a voiceover would be the better option. Basically, what I was saying in this is that I soaked my tattoo, well, not really soaked it, like I let the warm water run over it for a little while, as long as I could stand, really, and then I began to peel it off. This was in such an annoying area, and it hurt so bad. Wait, there's one. Again, I muted the clip because what was the point of listening to me yell about how much it hurt? But this one was like a lot, a lot easier. It was on my upper arm rather than in like a stupid area like the other go. two. Hell yeah. Now for the big boy. I'm going to cry. I think peeling this off was more painful than the actual pain of getting tattooed, like, legitimately. It ended up, like, breaking the blood vessels in, like, the crook of my elbow. I don't know if I pulled too hard. But, like, yeah, it really, really hurt. Also, look at my little sister's head in the corner. I could edit that out, but I'm going to leave her in there because I think that's really, really funny. <laughs> After I took the wrap off and I let them dry, I noticed that this one had a lot of, like, sticky adhesive residue, which was super gross and annoying because everything was sticking to it. So I made the decision to soak it with a warm cloth and I gently, like very gently, took all that stuff off, the majority of it at least, and it looks so good. Like, I am so, so happy with how it turned out. I love my artist. She is the greatest ever. She did such an amazing job. Then here's my 13. I tend to bruise when there's like a lot of black ink involved, so that's why I'm kind of like reddish around there i don't know it looks that way on camera and then of course last but not least my little bunnies they're so cute and they really do fit in with like my fairy arm up there like so so cute i absolutely love them but yeah that's about it for today's video you guys let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this type of content if you do i might as well film another vlog but actually remember to film me getting tattooed anyways i will see you next time love you bye